What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a special video. Today the Galaxy Note 8 Android Oreo beta software build leaked over on Reddit. First of all, before we get this started, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this today. But you need a Snapdragon 835 variant of the Galaxy Note 8. This will not work on the Exynos model. Please don't try it, it will probably soft brick your device. So if you have a Galaxy Note 8 with the Snapdragon 835, the only other thing you're gonna need for this particular tutorial is a micro SD card installed in your Galaxy Note 8. So before we get started, let me go ahead and show you guys the source of the leak. This was posted over on Reddit by M. Weinbach. You can see right there, Android Oreo OTA for the Galaxy Note 8. He linked the files. He found these on the Samsung server and then hosted them for download. So there are actually two things you need to do in order to grab this update. The first thing is you need to actually be on version 2BQK2 in order to actually flash the Oreo build. So if you go into your Galaxy Note 8, and go down to about phone, you'll see the particular build number of your device. You can see that my device is actually right now on 2BQJA. This is the T-Mobile variant, and you can obviously see that I am not on the correct one in order to flash the Oreo build. So in order to do that, I first need to download the 2BQK2 and flash that using my SD card. So you wanna go ahead and tap on that link and download it, I already did that. Save it to your SD card. Now the other file, which is the actual Oreo update, is up here in this top link. Go ahead and tap on that Google Drive file and then go ahead and download that as well. That's gonna be a fairly large file, 1.4 gigabytes. That is the actual Oreo beta update. So we're actually gonna to have to flash two of these using the Samsung recovery mode, stock recovery, you don't have, to have a custom recovery, you don't need root or anything. So save both of these files, 2BQK2, to your SD card and also the Oreo file as well. Now, if you have a good file manager, I highly recommend that you use it for this tutorial just to check. Use Solid Explorer as my favorite file manager. You can go into the SD card itself and make sure the files are there. Check out the names. So you can see the smaller of the two files, this one's 157.75 megabytes. That's gonna be the update.zip. That's to get to the 2BQK2 uh, build. And then once we get there, we're gonna come back and flash the second one up here which is BQK2, that's Nougat, to CQL1, the build number for Oreo. So we're gonna have to flash update.zip first. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna delete that one, rename this update.zip, just so I remember you know, what's actually happening there. Uh, I like to keep mine always to update.zip if I'm gonna flash something so nothing goes wrong. And then we'll come back and flash the Oreo build. So the first thing you need to do to get to recovery mode so we can flash the first one, go ahead and power off your device, just by using the hardware keys. And then once it's completely powered off, you're gonna hold down the power button, Bixby, and volume up all at the same time. So simultaneously, this is gonna boot us into recovery mode. It is gonna take a little while, so I'll fast forward if it gets a little too boring. You can see right there, you get the little Android logo. Installing system update. Eventually we're gonna get the little exclamation point with the Android logo in just a second. You can see right here, no command. And then it's gonna take us into the, in just a second, it'll take us into the actual recovery menu. So once we get to the recovery menu, then we'll be able to go through the process of actually flashing the update file. So you can see here, we're in recovery, we've got a whole bunch of options, reboot system now, reboot to bootloader, apply update from SD or ADB. So you wanna go ahead and use the volume down to go down to apply update from SD card. Go ahead and press the power button to select that. Then it's going to take you in, you can actually take a look at the SD card. Go down here to where it says update.zip, that's the one that's gonna get us the BQK2 Nugget build. Go ahead and press the power button. It's gonna go down there, verify the update package and install it. So it's gonna take a little bit to verify the thing itself. It's gonna verify it and then go ahead and install the entire package. This one's kinda of small so it might not actually take that long to install it. So at the very end, you'll see install from SD card completed, and then it's gonna go ahead and reboot the Galaxy Note 8. So now the Note 8's gonna boot back up. I'm gonna go back into the file manager, and I'm going to delete the update that I just did, the 130 something megabyte file that's named update.zip, and then I'm going to rename the Oreo update, update.zip, so I can go ahead and flash that. 
All right guys, so we're back from doing the Nougat build itself, the BQK2. I just want to verify the build number is correct. You guys can see my actual settings. I didn't lose any data. You should make a backup, of course, whenever you do something like this, just to make sure that you don't lose any data. Let's go ahead and go into the about phone and then just scroll down really quick to make sure we're on the correct build number. You guys can see right there, we are on BQK2. So we do have the correct build number now to go ahead and proceed with flashing the Oreo build. So I'm going to go back down to Solid Explorer, my file explorer. I'm going to go into the SD card again. I'm going to take update.zip, which is the one that I just flashed, and I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to get rid of update.zip completely. All right, so once you've deleted the update.zip from your SD card, now you can see the BQK2 Nougat to the CQL1 Oreo build. I'm going to go ahead and rename that. So I'm going to go ahead and long press Go up to the very top here in Solid Explorer, and you can see the option right there to rename the file. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and rename this update.zip. Type OK. So now I've got an update.zip, which is 1.37 gigabytes. That's the Oreo file. Go ahead and power it off. Now we're going to go back into the recovery menu, and then we're going to flash the new update.zip, which is the Oreo beta build. So go ahead and once again hold down the power volume up and Bixby buttons simultaneously until you go ahead and get that little blue Android menu right there. And then we're gonna see the little exclamation point here after about 10 seconds. And then we'll be able to boot into recovery mode again. And then that'll give us the chance to go ahead and get started with flashing the Oreo build. So once again, go ahead and navigate down using volume down to apply update from SD card. Press the power button. And we're gonna go ahead and once again, scroll down to update.zip which is now the Oreo update, hit the power button. You'll see at the bottom, it's gonna once again do its magic. This is probably gonna take quite a while, so don't worry if it takes a bit for it to install. It's a very large update, obviously. Um, and then it's gonna take some time for the phone to reboot as well. So I'm gonna go through and let this thing do its magic. We'll come back, we'll check out, make sure we've got an Oreo build running on here. And then I'm gonna get into testing some bugs. You guys can let me know how it goes yourself. So as soon as we get it installed, we'll come back and take a look. All right, YouTube, we're back. And as you guys can probably see right there by that little icon, that is an Android Oreo icon. We are running Oreo on my Galaxy Note 8 T-Mobile edition. So let's just go into the settings really quick. You can see that there's already some apps that are force closing. It is beta software, so that's something to be aware of up front, of course. Right there, Android 8.0.0, Samsung Experience version 9.0. You guys can see right there as well the build number ending in CQL1, which is what we flashed. This did take about 10 minutes for it to finish over there um, with the command line at the um, recovery. So don't worry too much if it takes a little bit of time. You guys can already see Sam, some connect is crashing. A lot of people have reported already over on uh, Reddit that there's quite a few bugs. So I'm going to dig into it and find out what's good, what's not. Uh, see if it's as stable as the Galaxy S8 Oreo. I highly doubt it just because this is obviously not even been officially released in preview form, but you know, it's definitely something worth checking out. And if you're willing to take a walk on the wild side or the Note 8 is one of your secondary devices, you have a device to play with, it's definitely gonna be fun, but I'll have an update with you guys uh, of what's going on with this particular update and where the bugs are. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. If you have any questions or wanna try this yourself, uh, go ahead and drop me a comment below if you have any issues. I'll be happy to help you out. Remember, make a full backup of your data. Uh, I have so many phones and I have all my data backed up constantly. So for me, you know, it's not something that I have to worry about when I do this. But if this is your main phone or it's a secondary phone even and you really care about all the data that's on here, make sure you do that ahead of time. Uh, I'll drop all the links in the description. You guys can check them out. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. And uh, you guys can also find me at gadgethacks.com where I have all my written coverage. I'll probably try to put a written version of this uh, tutorial over there at Gadget Hacks so you guys can check that out. Appreciate you checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.